Greetings everyone, the Goods are Night here, and today we're going to be doing a review. This is actually the third time I filmed it, because there's something I didn't know that took a bit of reason. So, Stark Arms was apparently related to or part of VFC, so their guns aren't designed to run on just age-old age old HFC, you know, little green guys you can buy anywhere. No, they're designed to run on propane and propane accessories. But anyway, so we fixed an issue I was having earlier, so that's good. So I can do this review now with knowledge. So let me get started. So first off, what we're reviewing today is the Glock 42. Glock 42 is a super small streamlined concealable carry handgun with a capacity of 12 rounds. And it also, they also sell a long mag version. And the long mag version has the extended pinky so that you can get your full grip on the gun and it improves accuracy and holds an extra two rounds for a total of 14. I can math. So with all that in mind, you've got this little gun, you go, oh, well, that's pretty cool, but how does it compare? Well, here's a full-size Glock 18. And you can see, one's slimmer than the other, and one is also exponentially smaller than the other. In addition, one is also a lot lighter than the other. You want to guess which one it is? I'll give you a hint. It starts with 42. Anyway, so it is a full-size Glock 18. Capacity of the Glock 18 is 25 rounds, of course, with a full auto capacity capability, which is cool. Everyone likes that. Now, previously, I didn't like to use handguns a whole lot. I have my SR-16 with an attached to a three grenade launcher. A belt of grenades that can hold up to 12. I've got like nine in there right now. So I wanted to carry a simple little firearm. Now initially, what I first did was I bought a Glock 26. Used working at Mangasoko. Nice little option. Holds 15 rounds in the standard mag. Also has a pinky grip. Relatively heavy, but it can be it can be put on any Safari Land holster. You can mount it onto your pocket down here. You go, oh cool. I actually just pulled this one out of my cargo pocket from my Cry Precision trousers because they have a built-in elastic band. I can sit across the gun for concealment carry purposes. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple. This is one's made by Tokyo Maruri. The Glock 18 is Tokyo Maruri. They all work great. Whereas the Glock 42 is made by Stark Arms with VFC. So, being made by VFC, I in my previous review, which is the one I had to cut, I could not get this small 12 round mag to cycle. I was like, hmm, it's weird that it's not cycling on the HF. For, what, 136? This shenanigans, yeah, 134. Green gas, I was like, oh, not green gas, gunpowder. Well, non-contaminant. So yeah, it won't cycle, oh no! So I was like, oh, well, the long mag, the long mag will cycle on HFC, so that's cool. Well, much like the VFC Scorpion, or the other Glovac guns, the Scorpion VZ61, not the Evo. God, I wish. But with the uh, Scorpion, it has to run on propane. Well, propane being dry means you're gonna have to gas the gun a lot. However, propane being cheaper means you're gonna be able to get more of it. So, we have a gun that runs on propane and cycles just fine, as I'm going to show you here in just a minute. So, initially I couldn't get the cycle no matter how I tried. It just shot gas everywhere and it was angry and I was like, oh no. So, we got propane in here and propane accessories. And we're gonna basically take this gun we're going to draw it from our Anywhere holster. You can keep this literally anywhere. It's very tiny. I mean, look, this is the size of my hand and almost the same thickness. So you take this out and you go, okay, I don't usually use a handgun, but my main weapon just exploded into 6,000 pieces because it caught an enemy 40 millimeter grenade to the side of it and I somehow didn't die. So you take out your little handgun from your pocket or, I don't know, spare space in your underwear. I don't know, anywhere really. You chamber, you go, okay. We've got 12 rounds, let's see what we can do. Now when you're shooting, one-handed, shoot from the side, archer style. Yeah, you get better support with these muscles as opposed to trying to one-handed here where you're not as steady. So, if you're going to one-handed, you point it this way and you go, die, potato. Full cycle on propane. Yep, propane. And propane accessories. You go, okay, cool. So the small mag works great. It's a little bit colder, not too bad. And in our little tiny front pocket here with our supports and stuff you can take out your longer mag chamber and ready finger straight off the trigger without in use so there you go okay with a longer 12 mag let's see what we can do
Boom. So, propane cycles just fine. Now, I initially was thinking with a gun this tiny, how well is this all going to go? And actually, quite well. So, that's our shooting from, I'm putting these mags back in my pocket and I have a dump pouch right over here. Reason being, I'm right-handed. The dump pouch is a backup item. You don't want to be worried about, you want to just drop the mag out of the gun and load a new one as fast as possible. You don't want to take the mag out. Like, oh, let me put it in my dump pouch. Okay, let me, let me get a new mag now. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me put my new mag in my gun. Okay, I'm back in. You want to just be like, oh, hell no. Actually, this works out great with a handgun for this very reason, because then you can go, you can, your, you can have your extra ammo, you can be like, pop, 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 you go, oh no, get out, load, and you're back in. So, cool, cool stuff, right? I know. So, the reason I like this is because it's minimal, even far more minimal than the uh, Glock 26 that I was initially using. Half the thickness, this holds 15 rounds of the big, heavy mag, comparatively. This holds, well, the extended 14, so one less, it's sufficiently smaller size. Comparable accuracy and uses propane. Propane will destroy this. It's a great gun, don't get me wrong, love Tokyo Marui. Propane will ruin this gun's life. So, uh, that is the majority of it. So without being able to cycle, I actually spent like 15 minutes on the last videos, but why won't it work? Uh, what's going on? I go, okay, who makes Stark Arms? Oh, VFC. Well, if it's VFC, you can use propane. So I loaded propane in there, I put on my safety goggles, and like a, Salamander Space Marine with a uh, plasma plasma handgun and it was like, oh god, oh god, it's gonna explode the slide in my face. So, fortunately that wasn't the case. There was no Space Marine plasma weapons exploding. Like I thought, well, I don't know how tiny of a gun this is. This is fantastically well made. And yeah, I do like the longer mag, personally, just for the extra two rounds and the improved stability with the grip. Well, you can still use the shorter mag just fine. And if you're like me, I'm not intending to use this all that often to begin with. This is my everything's gone horribly wrong, last plan sort of backup weapon, which is why it's so concealable. I want it out of the way. I want to be focused on shooting grenades and five, five, six rounds. Not, not a paint, not an airsoft thing. Yeah, real life ones would make me happy. But yeah, the thirty, the three eighty auto is the official caliber for the real one. So mini nine millimeter. But yeah, so, if you take this apart, it works much the same way as any other Glock. Slide that forward. You've got your little, uh, this just uses a tiny disc to keep that in place. The spring is really strong. Got your mini barrel in there. Your hop-up unit right here on the side. And yeah, it doesn't look like the propane ruined it too much, but I would still recommend every, now, every few chances to just... You know, throw some silicone grease in there. It doesn't cost you much, and if it improves the life of the gun, then you probably should. And bump, bump, bump. Put it all back together. So yeah, disassembly, really easy. Pretty hard to botch. Then you just slide it back on, like all other Glocks in the world. It's a pretty universal thing. Make sure you keep. Okay, I gotta pull this down, don't I? Yeah. Sure, make sure this slides back into place before you do anything too crazy. Do it a few cycles, works. I like to keep the trigger decompressed. You can do either or. And then you take whatever mag you want. Make sure I'm gonna keep putting my long mag back in here. It makes me more happy. It makes me feel more comfortable. It also gives a little, little hook shine. I feel like it feels like you could put a small blade on here. But that's probably what happens when you play Halo as a teenager. Anyway, so tiny mag. Slightly larger tiny mag. Very, very tiny slim gun. It's got the 18 U sights, by the way, so easy to use. Very accurate, surprisingly. And you can conceal it anywhere. You just dump it in the pocket right there. Boom. You can put in the elastic down here. Boom. Which I'll probably end up doing. I'll probably get a uh, small little Crydex holster that I can either mount inside a pocket just to keep it in place or somewhere on the belt or I don't know. Options. And options is what makes capitalism great because we don't believe in communism here we can't mix communism with this anyway this review is getting way off topic so i just wanted to let you guys know that the good sir knight has a cool toy Glock 42 made by stark arms vfc tiny and effective and it'll be out of the way of my sr16 so i can do sr16 things 
until things go horrendously wrong. Although it is going to be amusing if they do a handgun only game, because we'll be running with a tiny spy pistol. Ba -na -na, na -na -na. Exactly like that. Music and all. I'll do it. Doubt me. I will sing into my little microphone the whole time due to copyright reasons. So, that's it for you guys today. Glock 42, which I should show more of. I mean, standard Glock system, really, a really tiny mag release button and your slide catch release. And disassemble a little lever. I don't know what you want if you've used the Glock before, you pretty much know what you're expecting, so. Cool gun, does cool things. Targets destroyed, and it shoots propane. So, closing statements. Both the magazines work, as was the last one. It was like, why is only the long mag working and the short mag's dumb? Don't use HFC. The HFC will work in the long mag if it's all that you have available, but if you want to use the short mag, you have to have propane. You have to have propane. You have to have propane. I said it three times, you won't forget now. So everyone, that's my review. Stay chivalrous and cheers. I'll see you in the next review, and we will go out and we will shoot people with this on Sunday. It'll be a good time. Cheers!